and we know that the moment is equal to minus 16 times 10. Is it 16? Yes, times 10 to our 3 newton meter. Okay, so we, 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 we are going to uh, check for the both of them. Okay, we're going to check. Okay, so we, we know, so let's let's calculate the normal stress first. Okay, so normal stress is straightforward. So stress okay, in the x direction is equal to m y over i, right? So because our structure is asymmetry, what happens? So if you look at the cross section of our structure, right, the top and the bottom. So if it's, it's going to be the maximum tension and compression will be the same. The maximum tension and compression uh, will be the same. Oi. Sorry. I hate it when it does that. Right. Right. So the maximum tension, so the maximum tension or uh, compression will be the same. Now, be before I, I, I go on, we are going to check where, where failure will occur. Okay. I repeat again. We are going to check where failure will occur. So we know that failure, right, will occur here or here, right? So that is where we're going to check, okay? So just to bring back to calculate what is our, I'm, I need some numbers. So BF, I have my paper down here. Uh, D, is equal to 259. All these are in millimeters, okay? BF is uh, 102. Okay. The flange thickness is 10 millimeters. And the uh, web thickness is 6.35. I just need all this information. So the moment is equal to minus, as I said, it is asymmetry about the x-axis. So plus or minus does not matter. Okay, so this is 16 times 10 to the power 3. The i, we found that the i is equal to 40.1. Right, 40.1 times 10 to the power minus 6. And then the y distance is equal to uh, 0 0.259 divided by 2 minus. So the, the flange thickness is, uh, is what? 10 millimeters, yes or no? So this is equal to minus by 0 0.01. So the answer over here is 0 0.259 divided by 2. Minus by 0 0.01 times by 16 power 3 divided by 40.1 power minus 6 is equal to 47.68 1 times 10 to power 6 Pascal. Okay, so let me do it again uh, 0 0.259 divided by 2 to 1 times 16 power 3 divided by 40.1 power minus 6. Right. So why I minus 0 0.01? Because we are calculating at the dot, we have to compensate for the thickness of the flange. Okay, that is the uh, only uh, reason. Okay. So then we have to calculate our uh, shearing stress, right? So shearing stress, we know that it's equal to VQ over IT, right? So we know that uh, our V, right, V we know, I we know, and T, thickness, we're going to take the thickness of the web is equal to 6.35 times 10 to the power minus 3 meters, okay? So you, you have to, that, that's where, that's where some of you ask me, am I going to 
sets you on your shear force. This is you. You still have to remember. Okay, you still have to remember. So we're going to take this area into consideration for the first moment of area. So Q equal to width times depth multiplied by y bar. So the width is equal to 0 0.102. The depth is 0 0.01, 10 millimeters, right? The y bar will be equal to 0 0.259 divided by 2 minus by 0 0.01 divided by 2. Okay, So this will be equal to uh, 0 0.259 divided by 2 minus by 0 0.01 divided by 2 times by 0 0.01 times by 0 0.102 is equal to 126.99 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube. Let me do it again. Uh, 0 0.259 divided by 2 times 0 0.01 times 0 0.02 126.99. Yep. Okay. So now you can calculate your shear. So this is equal to your V is equal to uh, 80. Is it 80? Yep. 80 times 10 to power 3. Q is 126.99 times 10 to the power minus 6. Second moment of area is 40.1 times 10 to the power minus 6. And then lastly is our thickness, 6.35 times 10 to the power minus 3. So 80 power of 3 times 1 to 6.99 power of minus 6 divided by 40.1 power of minus 6 divided by 6.35 power of minus 3 is equal to 39.897 times 10 to power 6 Pascal. Professor? Yes. Do we do thick wall analysis or thin wall analysis? This is thin wall analysis. And that's the only ana analysis we do? Yes, but for this case, what is interesting is thick wall and thin wall, the answer will be the same because we are calculating, we are calculating the, the, the intersection between the web and the flange. If you do thick wall and thin wall, the answer will be the same. Okay, okay. thank you. So from here, so we have calculated our, whoa, our, uh, we have checked our uh, Z is equal to 0 0.8. So we have two values down here, okay? We have this and then this. Let me check another point before we go for a, a break, okay? Before we go for a break, let me move this away. Let me move this away. Okay, so the next one we have, we are going to check uh, where Z is equal to uh, 2.4. Okay, so at Z is equal to 2.4, right? We know that the moment is equal to 48, or the shear force V yay, is equal to 0. <laughs> And then the moment is equal to what? It's equal to 48. All right, the moment is equal to 48. So this one, it only has a normal stress. Right, so this is equal to 48 times 10 to the power 3 divided by 40.1 times 10 to the power minus 6 and then multiply by now the distance is the same right so is this distance that we, we we use i'm just going to copy and paste that is the same distance right so this is 0 0.258 divided by 2 minus 0 0.01 it turns by 48 power 3 turns by 40 and divide by 
40.1 power of minus 6. So it's equal to 143. Let's go to 143. Wait. 48 power. So 0.259 divided by 2 minus by 0 0.01. Ah, wait. Sorry. For this case, right? That's where that's where you have to be careful. Okay. For this case, right? If we look at the cross section. No, it's still correct. I do apologize. It's, it's still valid, okay? So 0 0.259 divided by 2 minus by 0 0.01 times by 48 power 3 divided by 40 power 1. Oi. 0 0.259 divided by 2 minus 0 0.01 times by 48 power 3 divided by 40.1 power minus 6 is equal to 143. Point, uh, 0 0.042 times 10 to the power 6 Pascal. Okay. Now, this point, because the shear stress is equal to zero, this is also equal to the principal stress. Okay. This is also equal. So why I highlight this is equal to principal stress, you can directly compare this with the material handbook, right? To see where are you, where is your stresses okay. Okay, you don't need to use more circle for this case because the shear stress is equal to zero. Okay. Now, uh, what I suggest that uh, you all go for a break. Okay, for fifteen minutes, we come back at eight forty-five. Okay, we come back at eight forty-five.